Fenbendazole and Mebendazole. What's the difference? These names might sound like tongue twisters, but they represent hope for some cancer patients. If you are considering using these for cancer, it's crucial to consult with an integrative oncology nurse. See more details at healnavigator.com. Originally, both fenbendazole and mebendazole were used to eliminate parasites in animals and humans. Fenbendazole treats parasites in animals. Mebendazole is used for human worm infections. Recent research suggests they might have anti-cancer properties. Could these dewormers unlock a new era of cancer treatment? Repurposing existing drugs for cancer treatment offers new hope in the fight against cancer. Studies show these drugs might inhibit the growth of certain cancer cells. Fenbendazole has shown encouraging outcomes in preclinical studies. It has potential against many types of cancer such as lung, colon, and glioblastoma. Early findings suggest it may disrupt cancer cell metabolism and signaling. However, more research, especially clinical trials, is needed to confirm efficacy and safety. Fenbendazole and Mebendazole have distinct safety profiles. Mebendazole has a well-established safety record in humans. It is generally well tolerated, with mild side effects like gastrointestinal discomfort. Fenbendazole is primarily used in veterinary medicine and is not FDA approved for humans. Its safety profile in humans is not well defined. This raises concerns about potential side effects and drug interactions. Consult a healthcare professional before considering either drug for treatment. While fenbendazole and mebendazole represent hope, we are still navigating a sea of caution. Extensive research and well-designed clinical trials are necessary. These trials will determine efficacy, dosages, and long-term effects. Until then, work closely with specialized healthcare providers. For more details, visit healnavigator.com.